Celebrity reacts on Will Smith and Chris Rock's Oscar slap incident in 2022. So, when Smith won the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature, something occurred. Chris Rock, the comedian, took advantage of the chance to make some jokes about Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head. He likened the 50-year-old actor's appearance to Demi Moore's in the film G.I. Jane, and it was clear that the similarity in remark had hurt Jada. She was caught on tape rolling her eyes in the seat after that. She had lately decided to tell her alopecia arita story. Smith walked on stage shortly after that and struck Ross across the face in front of the entire audience. Quote, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Smith, 53, yelled to a stunned and puzzled Rock. For the rest of the show, Smith and his wife sat in their seats. Rock has been very wary of taking this matter to court as well as pursuing any allegations until now. After winning the award for Best Actor, Smith apologized to the Academy and perhaps even his fellow nominees. Even yet, he didn't mention Rock by name, which is unusual and surprising. Instead, he gave a fascinating talk about acting out of love and protection, emphasizing that, quote, love motivates you to do crazy things. So now that everybody's familiar with the entire incident, let's talk about the reaction that it got from various celebrities. Let's begin. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar expressed his worry for Pinkett Smith as well as her feelings just three weeks after writing an op-ed about the confrontation between Smith and Rock. Quote, he just felt that Will's wife should have really given considerable respect as to how she felt about it as well as what she wished to do about it, he said to the Matrix stars, response to Rock's joke about entertainment tonight. Quote, I mean, people simply disregarded her, which he didn't think made any sense. She's the one who would have been offended if it had been offensive. It wasn't like someone was writing her or anything. It's impossible to know what others are thinking. That is my point of view, said Abdul-Jabbar. Nicki Minaj, quote, I'm a big fan of Chris Rock. I don't suppose he would have just made that joke if he knew what Jade had just said. But you seriously trying to tell me that between him and the entire Oscar staff, not one of you heard this woman just to give this. Terrible story. On Twitter, the rapper wrote, quote, come on, son. You simply gotta see what transpires in a man's spirit when he glances across the lady he loves and sees her fighting back the tears from just a quote-unquote little joke made at her expense in real time. This is how any and every genuine man feels at the precise moment. While you're laughing at the joke, he's grieving, said Nicki Minaj. Gail King When having attended the 2022 CMT Music Awards sometime in April, the journalist informed Entertainment Tonight that she thinks the whole thing is just awful. Quote, your acts, she believes, must have consequences. I don't know what's right or would be wrong. I just don't know. But it makes her so sad to see that she really likes both of them, end quote. She is, according to King, quote, I would just like him to be fine, she says of Rock. And it appears that Will is very sorry and embarrassed, which is a crucial first step, end quote. Jamila Jamil. Quote, Will Smith declared not today, Jamila Jamil tweeted, along with a former quote from Malcolm X. Quote, a man large enough to knock him out of struck gently enough that Chris began barely budged, all because he mocked his wife's alopecia on a global platform, end quote. So don't say protect black women for two years and then come here to renounce Will. Come on. Michael Bay. Quote, I've worked with him. He's really not that man. The Bad Boys director said of Smith, admitting that he initially mistook the slap for a bit. Quote, that's the first time I've ever seen him lose his temper like that. So I initially assumed it was staged. After all, I notice Will's smirk because I've been there on set where he plays games with people, end quote. Bay called Smith's behavior wrong, but added that there are more pressing problems in the world needed to be addressed. However, it's all everybody he's talking about, he continued, and it makes no difference to me. Hollywood tends to be quite self-absorbed, and Ukraine children are being blowing up presently. That's something we should be discussing, end quote. Cardi B. At your highest moment, be careful. As that is when the devil attempts to come after you, the WAP rapper tweeted, repeating Denzel Washington's remark to Smith. Rachel Zegler, quote, I feel like it's none of my business. The West Side Story actress told Extra about Oscar's turmoil here on the red carpet at the 2022 Grammys. Rosie O'Donnell, so heartbreaking on every level. Kudos to Chris Rock for not just trashing Will Smith, something he could have done any day of the week. He stepped back. Bravo from a tragic display of toxic masculinity from a selfish madman, the actress wrote, using the hashtags hashtag Oscars22 and hashtag Chris Rock. Bill Mayer. On the first episode of HBO's Real Time with Bill Mayer, aired on April 1st. First Mayer addressed Bill, the host's reaction to the smack. Quote, to Will Smith, remain strong and know that I've got your support, Mayer remarked. April Fool's Day, you're a scumbag. 
Mabel went on to say, that he couldn't sympathize with Pinkett Smith. Quote, it's hardly the worst insult I've ever heard compared to a woman to Demi Moore when she's at her most beautiful. He went on to say, alopecia is not leukemia, end quote. Amy Schumer. Quote, I've been trying to get out of my Spider-Man outfit. Did I leave anything? Following Will's victory, the life of star Beth grabbed a joke. Quote, there's a different vibe in here, says Amy Schumer. Cheryl Underwood. In April 2022, Underwood remarked to the talk, quote, I'm gonna have to say this one as a comedian. I'm frightened to get on the stage now because I'm on my third show and everyone's drunk. Do you think you could just jump back and smack me if you really don't like my joke? Bethany Frankel. Quote, at the Academy, you have quite a presenter working for you. They're employed for you. They slap someone, hit someone, and touch someone. Bethany Frankel remarked on the March 29 episode of her Just Be podcast. Quote, you have the individual removed. No, you present the reward to them personally. Oh, oh, I realize you just hit someone presenting, and now we're planning to give you an award. It's not like that. It's awkward at best, Frankel continued. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the entire show. However, from what I heard, that's exactly what happened. I can't emphasize enough how you can't even touch another individual. It sets a poor example for your children. It sets a horrible example for the United States." End quote. Daniel Radcliffe At the time of his interview in Good Morning Britain on March 31st, Radcliffe declined to comment on the subject. I'm just so incredibly aware of hearing people's thoughts about it, the Harry Potter actor added, that I simply wouldn't want further opinion added to it. When you're out on anything as a kid, you're never really certain if the joke's with you or perhaps you're the butt of the joke," he added. So hopefully you're in a state of mind where you're thinking, I'll just keep laughing and smiling, and hopefully it'll finish soon." End quote. So this is how the Hollywood family reacted to the infamous slap controversy. Comment and let us know what you think about these reactions. See you later.